Oops, I'm not quite. You still need five cents more. Five cents? Mm -hmm. For the deposit on the container? Oh, um, sorry about that. Here you go. Thank you. Have a nice day. How was school? Did you get that assignment in? Yeah, Mrs. Strachan said we can have an extra day if we needed it. I'm just glad it's over. It was really boring. Ancient Egypt isn't boring. They invented the aqueduct. No, they didn't, Mom. That was Rome. Oh, well, see, school's actually teaching you something. Ah. Uh, Please don't leave this here. I just cleaned up. Okay. Put it down in the basement with the others. Okay, guys. Now's our chance. Did you see my box of brochures? Huh? Freeze! Someone's coming! That was close. Let's hurry. Kim, why are those empties all over the floor? Huh? I thought I asked you to put them away. I did. Well, it sure doesn't look like it. That's weird. Okay, Crystal, you're next. I'm too fat for this. You're not fat, you're just heavy. Uh, flap? Hey, would you keep still, you big oaf? I'm almost there. What? What? Oh, I'm losing it! Uh. Now look what you did. You know, I think that hole in your head is getting big. Girl. Shh, quiet, please. Be quiet. Oh no, please. Great. Now we've really done it. What is it? We'll explain in a minute. Just please don't say anything. What's wrong? Uh, well, uh, what should we do with these? Is that all? Oh, I thought you'd seen a dead rat or something. Don't scare me like that. Hmm, we're not supposed to put them in the blue bin anymore, but I don't know where the local depot is yet. We may just have to throw them in the garbage this time until I can find out. As if I don't have enough to do. Just put them back in the box for now. Okay, what's going on here? Well, you see, we're trying to get out of here. Yeah, I mean, as nice as your place is, it's not exactly the Taj Mahal. Taj Mahui? This is really weird. What's so weird about wanting a better life? A better life? You know, recycled. We recycle? 
Mostly. Yeah, sure. Your mom said the G word. What's the G word? Garbage. Oh. Yep, the big old garbage can to trash fill. It's just a few beverage containers. What's the big deal? Uh-oh. What's the big deal? Sheesh. I mean, don't you know? Maybe I can explain. When you... Oh, no, you don't. It's not that kind of video. Oh. Let me take care of it. But I rehearsed in everything. Now, could you imagine what life would be like if we didn't all get recycled? Like what? Well, first, your houses would get so full you wouldn't be able to get into them anymore. Then, all the extra containers would start spilling out into the parks, which would have to be cut down and dug up anyway to get the material for even more new containers. You're exaggerating. Okay, it wouldn't be that bad. But we're talking around a billion containers a year in BC alone. That's really quite a lot. Tons and tons of raw materials. Okay, so what does happen when you get recycled? Well, um... The boxes. Yeah, right. You see, Spout and I... Hey, where is he? I'm over here. Come on out of there. Now, what's the matter? I didn't like the digging machines. Sheesh. Uh, what am I going to do with you, huh? Now, when Spout and I get recycled, we get turned into these. These what? Boxes. Cardboard boxes? How? They're awfully big. Well, it takes more than just two of us. All of the drink boxes and bigger cartons get divided up when people recycle them. Now, we're similar, but different enough that they make different kinds of paper from each type. Once we get shipped to the factory, a machine called a hydropulper meshes us up into a pulp. This separates the paper fiber from any plastic or aluminum linings. The raw pulp is fed into machines that flatten out the fiber and dry it, making long, strong rolls of paper. Later, the paper is fed into other machines that glue multiple sheets together to toughen us up even more. And then, finally, as corrugated cardboard, we get cut into shapes and folded together into new cardboard boxes like these. I mean, that's pretty neat, huh? Uh, you lost someone. I what? Oh, good grief. What is it now? That big blender thingy. You know, for such a big container, you really are a sissy. Actually, that's really interesting. It's better than cutting down more trees. I don't know. Seems kind of wishy-washy to me. I mean, really, a big blender? Well, Crystal, what's your story, Miss Impermeable? The girls and I know what it really takes to be recycled. First, us gals get a good washing to get out all the gunk. Then we're smashed up into tiny pieces for easier shipping. Later on, we get ground up even further until we're a sharp, fine, sand-like material called silica. Now, silica is really tough so tough that it can be used in sandblasting mix to strip the paint off a car. It can also be melted down at over 1,700 degrees Celsius to make strands for fiberglass insulation or mold it into tough new glass bottles. That 1,700 degrees, fellas, makes your hydropulper look like a kiddie pool. Huh? Now, now, let's all agree that both types of containers are tough. I mean, it's understandable, considering what you guys have to go through. Indeed. Why does it have to be so violent when it can be so soft and beautiful? Okay, she's lost it. <laughs> Find strands intertwined into a warm tapestry of comfort and togetherness and... Oh, uh, sorry about that. What does she mean? Yeah, what was that all about? Plastic recycling. Oh, it's so much more than being tough. We begin by being brought together into a large loving veil. We spend this time traveling together until we reach the factory where we're shredded apart and washed. But this is only temporary. The shreds are then melted down and made into soft little pellets. These are used by other factories in molding machines that make new plastic containers, like oil bottles and pails. But the best is when we're melted down into fine, thread-like strands, and then woven together into beautiful, warm rolls of carpeting, bonded together in love forever. Oh, sport. Here we go again. Sport? What does she mean? Sport is her husband. Yeah, your dad took him to work one day. Uh-huh. He went bye-bye. Oh, 
I miss him so, but I'm afraid I'll never see him again. Hey, wait a minute. You guys want to get recycled, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well then, why don't I take you to the depot and pick up Squirtle on the way? You do that for us? Of course, I should be doing it anyways. Besides, I'll get my deposit back. My dad's office isn't far from here. Well, what time does your dad's work close? It's 4.30 now. We have until 5. We better hurry. I think we'll need a bigger backpack. I hate to be a party pooper, but what if Sport already got recycled? <gasps> Devin. Dad! Oh, hi, honey. What's up? Does your work recycle beverage containers? Hmm, I'm not sure. Uh, I think they just get thrown in the trash. I think I've made it. Whoa! How much coffee does that guy need? He says I throw them away. Oh, I think I'm gonna faint. Don't let them throw the trash away. I'll be right over. Okay, but why do we... Sheesh. I can't believe my dad's office doesn't recycle. Well, I guess some people just don't think about it. Hey, watch where you're sticking that corner. Hey, it wasn't me. Oops, sorry. Maybe if I move up, you'll have a bit more room. Oh, I do hope we make it. There, that should help. Whoa! <gasps> ah, ugh. Ugh. Whew. Not so bad. Uh oh. No! Oh no! Are you okay? It's okay. It was bound to happen anyway. Really? Why? You see, just like Claire and her plastic friends... Excuse me? Sorry, sincere friends. All of the aluminum cans get squashed together into large bales for easier transport. Likewise, we also get shredded up into smaller pieces. But there is an extra step where they use large magnets and a shaker to remove any non-aluminum metals. Once they're sure all the debris is gone, our aluminum shards get melted back down, cooled, and rolled into long sheets of heavy foil. The foil is used to make new aluminum containers that get filled again and sent back to the stores. So, I've actually gone through this a few times before. It's really not that bad. Phew, that's good to know. Uh-oh, discardation of progress, two o'clock. Yeah, the 460's pretty sweet. But I mean, once you add that turbo Excuse on... me, sir. Uh, hold on a sec. What? Please don't throw that away. It can be recycled. I can, you want it? Go ahead, take it. Sure. I'm collecting deposits. Deposits? Uh, you know what? Never mind. I'll take care of that. Hmm? Ah, just some kid trying to cheat me out of five cents. Sheesh. What a cheapskate. Oh well, it was his anyways. I just hope he follows through. Yeah. Oh hey, we better get a move on, huh? Right. All right, we're moving again. So, you were also a can in another life. Wild. Have you ever met Elvis? Huh? Dad! Did they take the containers away? Oh, I don't think so, sweetie. They're still in the kitchen. What's going on? Recycling, Dad. They can't do it themselves. It's a good idea. We really should be recycling those. I know. Thanks, Dad. See you later. See you when you get home. Sure thing, Kim. Love you. Claire! Ain't that sweet. I think I'm gonna cry. Sissy. Well, this is it. The ball in return at Depot. Thanks a lot, kid. You did good. And we're so grateful you brought us back together. It was worth it. But wow, I think I'm really gonna miss you all. Hey, don't worry about it. You'll see us again someday, in one form or another. Very true. 
Okay, let's get you guys recycled.